we heard that R.H. was running a tryout. And, um, I haven't even been wrestling six months at this point. Um, so I was like, hey, what can I lose? I mean, the, at the worst, at the very worst, I go in and I learn something about wrestling and how to become a better wrestler. So I went in there, I did great, had a tryout match, and all the boys, Jay Lee through, um, the Briscoe brothers, Hunter Delirious, um, all those guys lost their mind with some of the stuff I could do in the ring and just six months in. And um, I remember Hunter coming up to me afterwards and I'm like, hey buddy, like you are gonna be something special, but I'll tell you that we don't really sign anybody off this tryout. Um, it's just a way to familiarize us with you. But he was like, just keep showing up, man. Show up to our, if we have a show close to your area or if you're not doing nothing this weekend, just travel and see, you never know, we might have a spot open. And I did that, I did that, um, I did that. So I was like, you know what, I have money saved up from the NFL, it's no big deal. So if, in my mind, I was like, if a show of theirs is a six hour drive from me, I'm going. If it's more than six hours, I'll just buy a flight and fly, they get a hotel or whatever. Um, and I did that. Um, I did that for about four or five months where I just went every show that I could go to and some shows that would give me a trial, that would give me a, a dark match and some shows I, I wouldn't do anything. So um, some, and what I did, I would always help set up the ring and you know what I'm saying, just show them that I wanted to be there. And then um, at that point I had the chance to work for this company called Dragon Gate Amer um, USA and whoever don't know about Dragon Gate USA is pretty much what Evolve is. Um, Evolve was the was like was kind of like the baby company, and Dragon USA was like the company that all the indie guys want to work at. And Apollo Crew, Uha Nation, Apollo Crews, and WWE is one of my best friends. So is Ricochet. They told me they was like, man, we think you're good enough to come out here and do something in front of Gabe, and he'll like you. So. I took a trip with Apollo Crews to uh, Dragon Gate USA Evolve show, and um, they talked to Gabe and was like, hey, that's our buddy, he's young, he's only been wrestling for not even a year, uh, can you give him a, a dark match? Or, and Gabe was like, yeah, we're not gonna pay him, we'll give him a dark match. And I had the dark match and I did great, and Gabe was like, um, what are you doing? It was a three-day tour, it was a three-day um, weekend, so we had a show in Tampa, Orlando, and Jacksonville. And I showed up in a Tampa um, show, gave me a dark match, killed it. And then Gabe was like, hey, what are you doing tomorrow and Sunday, or Saturday and Sunday? And I was like, nothing, I mean, he was like, well, if you come out to Orlando and Jacksonville, I'll make sure you have a match. So that night he wrote me in the storyline, me being the Bravado Brothers um, security guard or whatever. And um, so I did that for a few months and then at the end of that, Gabe pretty much offered me uh, a deal or whatever. But I kind of felt like Ring of Honor was where I wanted to be at, you know. So I hit up Hunter and told Hunter, I was like, hey, look, man, this is what's on the table with Dragon Gate USA slash Evolve, but which was nothing. It was, you're talking about 75 bucks a show, like n nothing at all. Um, but I feel like Ring of Honor, I could become a better wrestler and become a, be a star at Ring of Honor. Um, but I really want to be here. And he was like, well, we usually don't, we don't have any spots open, but for you, we could find a spot for you. So it took him about a week or two, they drew out a contract um, and sent it to me. And that's what started my Ring of Honor um, career, I guess.